every student in the state of Mississippi is entitled to a public education. And before a child is denied access to that education, they are entitled to be heard. That hearing is called due process. The Mississippi Center for Justice has represented 400 plus students across the state of Mississippi, and we found that school districts have different ideas of what due process means. It's for that reason that we believe a uniform due process policy must be implemented in this state. My name is Ja'Cory. I'm currently 19 years old, and I attend Holmes Community College. When I was in 11th grade, I was in class, and on my way to the bathroom, a student told me he had something to show me and gave me a ball, a piece of paper towel on my way out the door. I saw it was drugs once I got in the bathroom, and I balled it up and quickly returned it to him. Once I returned to the classroom from the bathroom, I walked to the desk and tossed him the paper towel and the teacher asked to see what was in the paper towel and he eventually gave it to her after she multiple times asked and she got it, received it and saw it was what appeared to be drugs and took it to the office. Once I arrived in the office, the teacher and the principal, they you know, questioned us and he told them that they weren't my drugs. I didn't know where they were. And I didn't have anything to do with it. Upon that, you know, I was expelled and he withdrew from school the same day while I waited around and waited around to be told I was expelled from school for nothing. I went to, finally got into a private school a month later. My name is Beverly and Ja'Cory is my son. In order to pay for private school, First of all, I took some of Ja'Cory's savings that he had been saving from out of his bank account to help me to pay for private school. In addition to that, I had to increase my part-time job to a full-time job. Therefore, I was working two full-time jobs to pay for his private school. Ja'Cory's private school was 20 plus miles away from home one way. In the beginning, my sister, which was retired, was generous enough to assist me with getting him back and forth to school so that I could work. She, along with a former co-worker of mine, would take Ja'Cory to school in the morning and my sister would pick him up in the afternoon. I didn't want to wear anybody out, so therefore I was forced to have to get Ja'Cory a vehicle. We went on, got his driver's license, and I was able to purchase him a vehicle. I had to get insurance on him, um, pay for a car tag, I had to do all those things just so that he could get into private school. Students have a right to adequate notice. Ja'Cory's right to adequate notice was violated when the school district failed to provide him written notice of the allegations against him, the witnesses that would be called at the hearing, and the evidence that they intended to present. When we arrived at the hearing, the school hearing that is, um, I thought it was just a matter of process we was going through. I thought it was just going to carry him in and ask him questions. I do know that um, at the time I could not speak because we had a letter saying that we couldn't talk and anybody that did talk would be asked to leave the room. So I knew that I couldn't say anything in his defense. He would be only him answering the questions. Got in the room and maybe um, six or seven teachers, counselors, wherever they were, were in the room and they all introduced themselves and started asking the questions. And as they was asking the questions, I didn't get a real good vibe that it was going to work out for us at the time because of some of the questions they was asking him as to why he didn't do this and why he didn't do that. I didn't feel like they, he gave them the answers that they were looking for, but he gave them the honest answers as to why he didn't do it. And I understood why he didn't do it as a young black man. But after the hearing, I felt like it was not gonna go well. Students have a right to a standard of proof. Ja'Cory's right was violated when the school district found he was in possession of drugs that he had no intent to possess, and another student claimed ownership of those drugs. Ja'Cory was subjected to a one-year expulsion during the second nine weeks of his school term. This expulsion placed him in a position where he would have essentially repeated the 11th grade twice. When Ja'Cory returned to his home school his 12th grade year, he was subjected to an additional punishment of 45 days in alternative school. Rather than put him in that position, his mom transferred him to a local county school. This double punishment was in retaliation for the litigation that the Center for Justice had filed against the school district on behalf of Ja'Cory. 
Upon going to the city school to register to Corey for his senior year, I then learned that his punishment had been extended to 45 days in a term for school. And at that time, I was upset because I felt like Jacory had already been punished for something that they know that he didn't do. They knew the drugs was not his. And then they added an additional punishment of 45 days in a term for school. So instead of subjecting Jacory to additional punishment, I contacted the county school and was able to enroll Jacory in the county school. My feelings and outlook on the whole situation, you know, made me feel like I was judged in which case I shouldn't be in. Made me feel like I was a totally different person than who I honestly was. Because I know, for me, getting up going to school every day, doing what I was supposed to do, wasn't causing no trouble. It was a simple mistake that could have cost me, you know, my school term, or even my dream of being an industrial engineer. Students have a right to a standard of proof. Students should have the right to representation. Representation that can include an attorney, a parent, guardian, and or an advocate on their behalf. Students should also have the right to review all of the information that's being presented against them. They should have an, opp an opportunity to review the case and to look at the violations prior to going to the hearing. Students should have the right to call witnesses and to cross-examine witnesses that the district may call. Students have a right to legal representation at school hearings. Jacory was denied that right. I had to sit there and let them interrogate him and I could not answer any questions or defend him in any kind of way. The positive people in your life, you can't never be told what you can't do. So with that being said, put your best foot forward and keep going.